I've been involved in this feast my whole life. I've been participating for my whole life. I've been participating in the feast my whole life. The feast has been going on for 129 years. It's part of our roots and it's just in our blood. People that are in this neighborhood all their lives get involved, it's, it's in their blood, they're here every year. When you do it, you, you feel uh, pride and happiness to celebrate a tradition that's been brought over from, from Italy and from our ancestors. You know, you plan your summer around the feast. Nobody gets married during the feast, nobody goes on vacation during the feast. It's something that's central. Giulio lift is everybody comes down. We get underneath the statues. The Capo Baranzo gives the commands to lift it. And each Capo would have his own song. And we dance it through the streets. The number one has to okay all the lifts. It took me over 40 years to go from a lifter to the number one Capo Baranzo. It's something that really has to be experienced. You know, it's, it's something that is, you could describe it and that's nice, but to be there and to see this tremendous tower literally dancing down the street is, is very amazing. The Julio may not be going from point A to point B. It could be spinning in a circle, it could be bouncing and dancing in one position. The Julio with the full band is approximately four tons. You don't have to be a muscle man. You're just going to be able to have endurance more than anything. You learn how to walk maybe inside, like you might talk to the guy in front of you and he'll walk one way with his leg feet open, you walk with your feet closed, just so you're not stepping on each other's feet. But you just pick those things up you know, as you go along. The idea for many of these men, they're lifting for someone, they're lifting for someone who passed away or perhaps as a penance for their own sins or to give honor to the saint or of course uh, to give honor to God for their ability to lift. Some men have made a promise that they will continue to lift as long as they're able. So there is a great spiritual significance to it as well. Even that faith aspect of it is very sacred to many of the men who are under there. It's not just cultural, it's also something that's very spiritual and uniquely Catholic. Is at the end of your lift, they wire you, it's like, uh, all right guys, get ready. Gente de Spal is like, get it up. Uh, Gunji Guns is ready again, and I think Anja is like, throw it. It means, uh, like, drop it. Why you? Agente de Spal. Gunji Guns, Anja. That's the biggest challenge, is to make sure the Julio is safe, the lifts are safe, that's the main thing. And then everything falls into place. People put up with it years ago, because it was part of their tradition, but not the new people here, it's not part of their tradition. We're trying to get them involved, we invite them to come, and we hope they do. And we hope we under, they understand that uh, although they're in the neighborhood, they call us the leftovers, that's what we're called now. This is a tradition that should be respected like we respect them.